What's going on, everybody? This is Super Robot Ed, and today we have in front of you none other than the Transformers Legacy Evolution Commander Class Autobot Universe Optimus Prime. And yes, this has been t up for Commander Class of the Year. Hmm. Let me put it to you this way. I actually agree with them. I'm not going to spend a lot of time in these videos. This is a lot to cover, especially because I still got to do Ultra Magnus. And I should have got this done yesterday, but I didn't. So we're going to start today. So let's go. So let's take a look at the packaging as always, because you know I got to look at the packaging. And we see this nice box. This is one of my favorite boxes so far in the Commander class hands down and no i'm not pulling out all the commander classes because there's no need to pull them out it's just this exists in his own universe i'm not gonna get in rodimus prime and all them other people it's not it, it, trying what are we comparing Jetfire to this guy no Jetfire is going to be bigger because that's where they had him scale it's a whole lot of other stuff who cares about all that it's a truck with a trailer that combines into one giant robot and they did a really good job with this one so let's just talk about this in a few comparisons, but we'll bring out Ultra Magnus for some of you. Um, yeah, you know, you got the same thing on the side, yada, 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 yada. And then of course you got on the back, you got all these stuff like this, yada, yada, yada. Y'all know what time it is. That's what we're gonna talk about. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring out the figure and the instructions are in the box. All right. Now, we get none other than this guy right here. He is nice, he is decent. Let's take a look at the components. You have the cab, which is Optimus Prime. You have the trailer. We're not gonna turn it to the base because I think the base molds are just stupid. Let's just lay them down flat and just lay some guns on it. We know it's a base. And then we didn't really buy this for the base, we bought this for the fact that when we combine this into the Optimus Prime Super Mode, he now has articulation. He did a good job. Not perfect for some, because everybody's gonna nitpick, but for Hasbro, I think it's a really good job. I think this is, in some ways, better than Ultra Magnus. Dare I say it? I think it is. But anyway, let me show you a few things here. We're going to take this off first. Now, I did try to paint his feet gold, and I think I'm going to go with chrome. So you might see some gold bits on the toes because I had to get it off. Um, I did paint the eyes of Super Robot Moon red. It just looks so much better. We're going to put the truck to the side. I'm going to show off the trailer. So right now, this is the trailer. These parts fold out. This is the bottom. You can form like a base, whatever you want to do. I don't like bases now, I don't place to put them. But if you want the trailer to stand up on its own, see these struts right here? See them? You just pull them down. You pull them down. And the trailer will stand up on its own. This video may not have even brakes today because we're going to be moving fast. All right. And so we got him here and he looks nice. Um, yeah, so far so good. I'm digging this. I am going to pause because I do have to go back and pull out a few figures and let the camera battery charge up. We're going to get started with this guy. And we'll be back in two, in two. All right, we're back by YouTube Magic. Now we have Armada Optimus Prime's cab mode along with some of the other uh, Armada Transforms that I have. Armada Hot Shot and Armada Starscream. All the legacy versions, by the way, let me just denote that. And yeah, I mean, it's it's a good scale. I mean, you know, Voyager, he's Voyager-ish in size, you know, a little bigger, but he's still Voyager right now. Um, but it's a good comparison. Now we're going to take these out of the way and we're going to compare them to some other vehicles, mainly some other Armada Primes that I have. Now I have a headless Bendy Armada Prime, <laughs> if you remember these. From back in the days and you know what's interesting about him it's actually not bad he's actually got a this is actually pretty good quality stuff back in the day so this is the original one um the head was used for a friend on a kit bash of a toy and not going to talk about it but it came out good and he needed this head and i didn't it, it just I, I i i didn't care about this toy and i have another one i don't know where it is um but you can see here i i, I kind of like the way this looks over this one Cause this looks, see, this is like a straight, like, well, he's Monster Convoy, so he's like a monster truck. See, see, monster truck. Underneath, uh, he's pretty clean. As you can see there. You can see all of the good stuff. Uh, clear plastic, no 
no BS, everything in the front. Great. Um, of course, he has the mini con ports and everything like that. As you can see here, again, the colors are him are darker blue, almost like G1 Optimus Prime colors. I think this was like one of the ones that's supposed to be like G1 Prime. Is there so many releases of this? It's not even funny. But then we have in front of you the big boy. Now, if you don't know, this is the original. This, uh, this is all I can find of him at the moment. I don't know where the rest of it is. It, it's pretty much broken because I think I gave this to the kids because I had the uh, Magna version. This is the Japanese version. This is Micron Legend Monster Convoy. So you see the gaudy yellow with the gold that's faded out, of course, underneath. Um, but he has a deeper red, uh, deeper blue, and he has a lot of yellow. So compared, and they're not really going to do a review, but you can see differences. Um, and I'm not trying to review him. And as you can see here, he's slightly bigger. He has the electronics. He also has a light up fist. Now, I don't know if the American version did that or not, but he does have the light up fist here. That you can, yeah, and I have to believe he does. The American version does too, where you can light up the sword. Um, that also is with the Japanese version of um, Hot Shot. Hot Road had the light up fist as well. So you can see here the three. And of the three, he sits, he has a very low profile. It's, it's kind of uh, amazing. It's like they dropped him down versus him, who's more, he's more higher up off the ground. You can see there, of course. He's lower to the ground, so you can see that there. Um, you know, pretty good, pretty good looking group there. Um, let's turn it to the side, so you can see some differences. So he doesn't really, because he doesn't have all of the, the smaller one, the bendy one doesn't have all of the stuff here. I'm gonna put him to the side for a second, because really he's just here for show. But as you can see here, both of them carry over the same paint, but the only difference is the fists are covered up slightly. And that's what the DNA kit's going to do. It's going to cover this up all together and maybe even give it a little height. So you can see here, this is where they, you know, the inspiration. And they're pretty much almost identical. Again, like I said, I really want them to be in the shot more than the other one. I think you can see them from the side, even from the bottom, you know, even from the bottom. And hold on, this is hard to do. <laughs> but even from the bottom, I mean, they're pretty much identical. But this one does a few extra tricks that this one doesn't, okay? Um, so, now that we done showing off comparisons and everything like that, and I still got all this uh, remnants of the... <laughs> you know how it goes. Um, yeah, you're gonna get him transformed. We're gonna be back into it too. I'm gonna go into robot mode. I'm not gonna do any transformations on screen because like I said before, I'm hungry. And um, yeah, oh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. I forgot. Let's, let's, let's do a quick comparison before we go. Like I said before, here is the vehicle mode. And here is none other than Commander Class Ultra Magnus. Ah, that review is up next. Um, just to give you an idea of, you know, Hasbro's direction has really, really, really just impressed me. To the point where I don't know, man. Maybe they got they got they got my attention. They got my attention, but there's some things that we got to talk about, and I'm still learning this guy over here. So I gotta fix him up, and none other than Ultra Magnus. And you can see the differences right off the bat. I mean, they're, of course they're, they're gonna be different, but you can see here. I mean, like, uh, look at that. I mean to commander class and yeah i'm still working on him because I, I think i got something mistransformed um but yeah he looks nice um we're gonna get them in robot mode yeah we'll be back in two and two all right we're back by youtube magic and we now have armada optimus prime in his first robot mode um and we're gonna go over that but first here is the trailer turned into base mode and i'm not gonna do transformations because i still have to do ultra magnus and I want to relax. I'm missing football today, y'all. So please forgive me. But I was behind on doing these views, and they are lengthy. So I'm sorry about that. But you know, I've got a life, and there's a lot of stuff going on. So I really need to be relaxing as much as I can. But this is the base mode that you will put him in. In fact, we might just go ahead and go to leg mode. That way we'll be ready, and then that way we can kind of eliminate that. So we'll have a transformation screen. But it's basically the base mode. It's 
always the same fold flat you know the original one had like a, a, a layered kind of tower and then it would unfold and for people saying that it didn't work please shut up i've had three of them no count that four of them and as long as you got the battery in the space they all transform the same way and if you know how to do the instructions you can do the second part transfer it does it all on its own so please stop saying it doesn't work it works i got one i just ain't feel like going get it because the trailer is like in this other box and you know, i don't know where it is i know where it is but i'm not looking through it that's basically what i'm saying there's base mode all right so once we get this thing in the base mode you know you just kind of want to take this off kind of fold this down and basically these are the these are going to be the back of the legs of this figure and just fold these in you know make sure they're flat and then after that you just fold these down but first things first before you fold them down so you can get the blue guns into there you got to open this up so kind of open this up here and open it up and when you pull it up it's going to pull out and swing out so that's how you get to the you kind of got to use your hand i hate this part but you see the little knob right there just lift that up and do it on the other side same thing on the other side move that out the way lift that up and out and basically just swing that up swing it around swing it back in see what i'm doing swing it back in swing it back in here as well and fold these down these are your feet and they should kind of you kind of want to make sure that these are all latched in place because they get out of whack and it'll scare you same thing on this side make sure that when you pull the feet down that they are locked in so these two because they as they can get out of whack and fold these down fold these in fold these in and these should be on the outside if i'm not mistaken let's see you're gonna turn these around oh no i think i got them backwards hold on I got these backwards. No, they're not supposed to be like that. No, they're supposed to be the. Yeah, that's right. They're supposed to be the opposite direction. So, you know, you gotta kind of swing them around. That's right. Swing them around. Then you swing them around. So you swing them around. Kind of got like a stilt thing. Then you want to. This is always going to be in the back. So you always just want to turn that around. You know, uh, that's right. You gotta turn it around the other way. Turn around this way. And then you just kind of do a turn. So you get an idea of what you're doing, what you're going to be seeing in the future of this video. Now the legs, everything comes into place. Then after that, I'm just going to fold this down. This is the waist skirt. And like I say, everything is on the hinge. Fold this down. Fold these here to the back. Now this is an important part. because That's going to be where Optimus Prime goes in when you turn them into the arms mode. And then this right here, that is the part I really didn't understand, like why they had to have him with a butt, like a weird butt skirt, but here you go. So basically you just kind of lift that up, plug that into there, and then just kind of turn it around, fold it around like this. And it kind of just, ah, I think right. oh, I'm messing up somewhere, but oh man, 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 let's see. So, I think that folds out. You just kind of put that in there. I believe it kind of just it's supposed to collapse on itself. So yeah, you got like this thing that hangs off of him. So when you do the, so when you get ready to do the Optimus Prime um, mo mode and everything, um, that's gonna that's kind of just hang off. It just kind of just hangs off there a little bit. So. We'll get that straight now because I know I don't have this right, but um, yeah, that's kind of what you're going to be doing. And that's kind of just the precursor of what we'll be doing. And, you know, you see there a few other things and then we'll get to that and then we'll be back again in two and two. All right. And I just wanted to make sure I show you how to get the butt set up because it's like I said before, I, once you get it on, it doesn't look that bad, but it still looks kind of weird. And I also had to get those post here you know kind of straightened out so but this is ready for the uh you know combined mode and we're going to show off none other than optimus prime so he's basically armada optimus prime more on the bendy side of things uh you can see here how everything looks he's got a beautiful head sculpt 
Everything's really nice. The matrix fits in this chest and the chest compacts, compacts into two, kind of like an accordion, but that's where the matrix is. And it's like a, it's a pain in the butt, but it's not that great of a matrix. You can't hold it. Because if you ever watch the show, he kind of throws it up at the last episode when he turns like that final battle. And it doesn't really show red only because you can see where it pegs onto that kind of like five millimeter post. And then it just kind of, you know, makes it look like it's red on the inside. And that's the chest. Uh, legs on the ratchet. They're very strong. And they go out to here. They go out to there. From the back, you can lift up the uh, waist skirt. Leg goes all the way out to here. Can't Van Damme because his crotch is oh, weird. That's the crotch. No waist swivel. And that's to be expected. Um, the arms do a 360. Um, they are um, not necessarily splayed out, but they are the kind of, I guess you could say, kind of like a ball joint. No, not really. Um, he has almost like a double elbow, and that's just due to the transformation. He has normal feet swivel as usual. Um, you know, head on the ball joint, but he has the skirt on the back. Of course, it's later on he's going to become, and you can see the fist of him. Uh, the only weapon that he comes with besides the pseudo engine lights gunny thing is the typical Armada Optimus Prime gun. And I don't have the original. You know, I don't have it in front of me. I have it. I just don't know where it is. But you know, in the original, it had a little swivel thing because, you know, you turn into base mode. This one doesn't have it. I like it. It's a little more cleaner. Um, but he does look really nice. Uh, no measurements because I don't know where the heck that ruler is. And every time I need him, he is not a realm. So I'm going to try to look one more spot real quick. If I don't see him, I think he's around seven inches. So he's seven inches. I don't know where the heck that roof goes when I need him. He'll show up after the fact, but I don't see him right now. So that's just the idea of what we're dealing with. And um, like I said before, I'm going to show off some of the other figures that would, of course, be along with him. And that is going to be the first, which is Armada Hot Shot. Our Universe Legacy Armada Hot Shot. Like I said, I'm going to clean up his feet with silver. It's definitely going to be silver um, instead of gold. I didn't. I don't think the gold looked as good as the silver. Uh, but here he is next to Armada Hot Shot, which is a good, uh, good comparison in my opinions. And then, of course, we got um, Armada Starscream, which you know, technically he was on their side of things. So, I mean, you know, and we're going to show him standing next to that. And then we're going to do a quick comparison. Like I said, after that, uh, we're going to go straight into the uh, uh, robot mode. Yes, I do have his other weapon. Uh, I just it's it's sitting right here on one of the shelves and stuff. So please, y'all don't get in your feelings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but as you can see here, Optimus Prime is pretty short. No, I don't have Megatron. And I don't have plans. Big up Megatron. I was never a big fan of our modern Megatron to begin with. I never liked the colors on the original. Um, not even the Japanese version. I only like the Mega Zero colors they did in the OFTCC. I just thought that made the mold itself look a little more menacing. But unfortunately, I don't know if they're ever going to do that coloration um, with that figure. But if they do that coloration, then I will buy him because I had Mega Zero a few times. So here's an idea of what they look together. Um, there's a few things I want to talk about before I do some more comparisons. The plastic quality on this thing is one to talk about. This is something that the plastic quality on this is better than what we got with the legacy um with the star saver i think star saver should have had plastic like this part like certain parts this just you the the, the shine the, the, it's just so powerful it, it just I, I i'm amazed at it um but he does look good i mean yeah you you can't you cannot deny that he looks fantastic and you know just to let you know how far we have come from 2003, 20 years. Um, well, tell me, oh, two. I know Armada has been out a little long. <laughs> you know, I, I know, I know how long it's been. But you know, he doesn't even, he doesn't even stand up well. <laughs> like I said again, this is the Japanese version of the figure. Um, I, I, I have a, I have a soft spot for this figure. I, I that's why I kind of like. I know why he was separate, but you know. He kind of, he kind of falls. He, he, he kind of can't stand up. But you can see the long way that we've come from our from. Well, this is Micron Legend, basically, to this. And I gotta say, 
they did a good job they really did a good job you can tell i've had this since i bought this in 03 this is how long it's how long i've had the japanese version i have an american one i gotta see which like i guess it's in a bin but this one was available and this is my crown legend so just to give you an idea of what we're doing so next thing we're going to do is we're going to get him into the combined mode and then we're going to wrap this puppy up and then we're going to go into the ultra magus review of course we'll always be back two and two all right we're back by youtube magic we have optimus prime in his super mode um we're going to go straight over articulation because like i said before ultra magus is going to really hinder my day so basically as you can see here i actually like it i know that dna is going to give us a good upgrade kit but it's actually not bad this part right here really does not bother me and then the legs they're on strong ratchets i mean look at that when were we ever going to see our armada optimus prime in super mode actually do this now with the stuff butt stuff on the back yeah it's really kind of hard to get like a back leg thing but you ain't really going to do that now can he van dam in this mode no he cannot oh yeah he can i don't know what's blocking him oh yeah he can van dam see he just look weird but he can van dam see yeah so i mean you got new articulation for something we never had they were static pants now the waist swivel is here below the waist so it's not here so but he does have waist swivel and he does he could do a 360 but it, it's just going to be hindered by that so let's keep that in mind but he does does have waist swivel um arms rotate 360 of course now the flaps don't stay closed and not as tight so just keep that in mind sometimes to do that but the arm can go out of here and like i said before that's because of the legs and of course they can you know, actually bend the back because of the legs so you can get some weird articulation um now let's take a look at the head so this is the part that i like because when you paint the eyes red you get a Get a nice little, it's a nice little, you know. But really painting the eyes red gives this thing, because they're gold when you first get them. So you have to take the head apart, apply the paint carefully, and then put it back together. I say it carefully, just not, it, that. just do what I say. But yeah, that's basically how he looks. And then zoom out, get the camera back in frame. Um, I don't have any commander classes up per se. Um, but we do have quite a few leader class figures on deck one being a grimy lock just so you get an understanding of how big he is and he's he, he's like i said he's pretty pretty big i don't have the original i mean as close as i can get but i think he's like 11 to 12 inches but i swear for the life of me i do not know where in the heck that rule is and i keep looking and i'm looking and i'm looking and I just don't have time. So, I mean, that's as good as a comparison. I really don't have any commander classes up. He will be used in comparison when we do Ultra Magnus. So we're just going to go straight to final thoughts because there's not much else to say. I feel like this is the best commander class of the year. Why? Because it did everything it's supposed to do. It does everything it's supposed to do. You only have to do a few things to really kind of get what you want. And I say maybe painting the eyes red will give you such a glorious look to this figure. Um, the gold paint, um, like I said, I'll probably paint the feet on uh, the regular, ro the inner robot. I'll probably paint that silver just to match the animation. Just give it a little more pop. Other than that, man, no, uh-uh. I'm good with this. The way I say this is the best commander class because the proportions are right. Everything works. This is it's like what we wanted. I know this the DNA up upgrade kit is going to give us even you know more uh, like here and there's going to be and you know all the extra feet is be even a little bigger. But as is, if you didn't get any upgrades, I mean, if you got a problem with just this waist piece is going to be your issue for some out here. You know, they're like oh well. I'm gonna, they're not going to do that. Gundam models don't even come like that. Bruh, if you ever get a Gundam model, they come with that part together. And you have to cut it. Then you got two ball joint halves. Other than that, I don't care. Like, this Transformers, man. Like, I ain't going... Man, I ain't going to sit here and tell you, it's got an articulated waist. That just not matter to me, man. Come on. This overall package of this figure is fantastic. Even if you're not a fan of Armada Prime, 
but at least if you have an inkling of what this toy is you should pick this one up i mean i would i would not refuse to pick oh my gosh my camera's acting up today i would tell you to pick this up without hesitation pick this up why should you pick this up because like i said before best in class everything just fits the way that they made it it's sturdy in this mode you could just set it down anywhere and it stands it's just I, am, I was so impressed with this figure in my head. I was like, I got two of them. This is how impressed I was with this figure in my head because I broke it during a uh, customization process. Ah, the joys of loving a figure so much that you were willing to, and because the copy I got, the inner robot, um, the smaller Automata Auto Auto Prime has some issues. So I had to keep this one and yeah, it's a long story, but anyway, I got the perfect one. I think he's a fantastic figure. I think you should go pick him up worth the 90 100 whatever price is these days this one's worth it um strong recommend uh ultra magnus reviews up next and we'll talk about how i feel about that but other than that this commander class is definitely one you should pick up so this is super robot i bring you more news reviews until then we see you soon bye bye